what's up everyone, Forever Legacy Studios here, back again with another video, and guys, welcome to my 2019 Clone Army video. Now, I know I've been mentioning this in the past few videos that I was wanting to do a Clone Army video, and with me finishing the last few battle packs I had on hand, the last seven that I showcased a couple videos back, um, I built the last seven on, live, er, on stream, getting to chat with all of you guys, it was a blast, I had a fun time, and I'm very happy that the final clone troopers are built, and guys, this army is fantastic. Now, basically in this video, I'm going to be showcasing all the different uh, variants and branches I've got. Um, now, the biggest part of this army, of course, is the Phase 1 Clone Trooper, which is, of course, the most recent one right here. Um, now, he is, or this version of him, is basically the one that kind of is basically the bulk of the army. Um, but on the other hand, I do have a few other variants kind of just floating around on these base plates right here. Now, I do want to quickly point out, I actually do have two clone troopers that are missing or not really missing but basically they're coming in the mail that i purchased uh the other day and so i technically have two more of these guys right there but for the time being this is my army and i didn't want to delay it any further than i had to so taking the phone off of the tripod getting us right there Getting on to the actual clone army, this army consists of 173 clone troopers. Now again, most of the clones are, or at least the number for the clones are coming from the phase one. I think there are 90 of these phase one clone troopers. I think that's how many I calculated on stream. And honestly, these guys look so fantastic in my opinion. Like just every direction looking at them, it's just, I don't know. It's something super exciting in my opinion. Uh, but basically starting off on this side we have my different kind of variants and different branches of the Clone Wars. We have my Kashyyyk clones. I have currently, I almost said nine, ten of the Kashyyyk clones, nine of the variants of the Scout Troopers, one of the uh, kind of standard phase two ones. We have eight of the 212th Battalion Clone Troopers. I'm actually really happy about those. Uh, now I don't have too many of those guys but I'm ha actually happy with how many troops I have. Um, now right here is kind of the mix between phase two clones. I kind of didn't really have a, enough of each one to have its own space. So I have two of the gunners, one of the standard phase one clone trooper, and one of the 501st clone. Now that is the only one I have and it is very special. Um, <laughs> uh, moving on, we have my phase one uh, clone trooper in the yellow captain or yellow lieutenant, I can't remember. Uh, which color yellow signify? I think it was commander actually. Um, originally, I did have him in front of the phase one army, but I ran out of space on the base plate, so I'm like, okay, I might as well move it over here. Uh, we have the horn company clone, we have the two bomb squad troopers, we have the two ARF troopers in the uh, red armor, and the ARC trooper. I am missing one ARC trooper, as well as I'm missing another of the ARF troopers that came in with this set right here. Um, we have two of the Geonosian uh, clone troopers. Now, um, these were actually given to me by Aiden, so that's why I don't have all four of them, and that's also why I'm missing another one of the standard Phase 2 ones. I actually ended up giving one of them to Aiden because I didn't need it. Um, I do have four of the Senate Commando Troopers. Moving on, we have my pilots in the array. Uh, again, I am missing one of the Clone Wars pilots, which is supposed to go right there. I just don't know where he is. Um, we have two of these Phase 2... Uh, clone pilots were arc 170 pilots. I'm very happy with those kind of want to get a third one That way I can actually build a custom arc 170, which would be really exciting uh, We have four phase one clone trooper pilots, which is super cool Of course going to be used in the gunships for Camino uh, We have two of the phase one bombers and then eight of the standard phase one clone troopers clone wars variants Now I do have more of these again. I think I've got roughly four or six more of these guys Again, I don't know, I think I misplaced them, uh, but I do have a lot more, and they're kind of just somewhere else. I don't know why um, I misplaced them, but moving on to this side, this is kind of like main characters as well as officers. In the back, you have kind of different Imperial and Republic uh, officers and technicians and all that. The reason why I added them is because of the fact that I will be adding them in the mock, so I might as well add them into the army. Uh, we do have a custom, or not really custom, but a fig bar of the clone cadet, or clone basically, without his armor. Um, right here we have all the, or at least most of the original um, Phase 2 clone troopers. We have all the different variants from the shock trooper, the pilot, the ATRT pilots. We have the two kind of uh, two, uh, Commander Bly's troops, I basically call them, and then the standard one right there. 
Uh, very cool, honestly. Like, again, I do prefer the more recent ones, but it is also really cool to have those guys. Uh, right here, we have some more named clones. We actually have the uh, Old Man group. We have Old Rex, Old Fox, I almost called him Fox, Old Wolf, and Old Gregor. Uh, then behind them, you have Commander Neo, Fives, Clone Army Customs variants, and Gregor, Clone Army Customs variant. Um, those two are actually really cool figures, and I actually really like the uh, Arc, 17, er, Arc Trooper Fives and Commando Trooper Gregor. Uh, moving on, we have uh, some more custom clones. We actually have Commander Cody and Captain Rex. Now, of course, this is uh, another uh, Clone Army custom figures. I've actually been picking these up for quite a while. Both uh, actually cool mini figs right there. We have the Clone Wars variants of the two right there. We have Rex, Cody. Right here, we have Commander Gree and Commander Gree in his Phase 1 Clone Wars style. We have Commander Wolf in his Clone Wars Phase 1 armor. Then right here, of course, we have the Jedi Councils I have. Um, I do have a couple, they're just missing, um, as well as I've got, of course, as you guys know, I've got a ton of this variant of Kiati Monday and that variant of Barriss Afi. Actually, I have the Clone Wars variant of both of those characters, I just decided not to add them because of the fact that they're more so uh, focusing on the Clone Wars, cl er, Clone Troopers, not the actual Jedi, but I did want to add that for the aesthetic of why not. Um, but yeah, this army, in my opinion... I do want to quickly point out, it is not the largest clone army, nor do I expect it to be the largest clone army. Uh, but honestly, I'm very happy with the size of it. I think it's fantastic. It's definitely not the smallest army, which is super exciting. Again, most of uh, the troops are coming from the Phase 1 army. But honestly, this army is actually pretty sweet to say. It's even making Steven the Porg right there in awe. So... Other than that, I actually really enjoyed filming today's video and getting some really nice shots of this clone army. Again, if you are new to this channel, definitely subscribe. If you guys want to see these clones, or at least the Phase 1 clones, in action, you guys can check them out on the Battle of Camino, the recent build or large mock series I'm currently doing with my friend Aiden slash Adorier Studio, or Adorier Lego Studios. So, again, stay tuned if you haven't checked out that series. Again, all these troops, or at least all these troops right here, will be showcased in that, as well as with their Jedi counterparts, Anakin Skywalker and Obi-Wan Kenobi. So, other than that, hope you all enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.